as an elementary, middle, and high school principal, when a teacher sends an essay, pardon me, or a, an office referral to me, my approach was I was not hired to do the teacher's bidding. The teacher may have wanted me to do something, but at least in California, where, where I reside, the teacher can suspend the student, him or herself. They don't need the administrator to, the administrator to do it. But my approach was as follows. I knew this community. I may have known the family. I may have known the kid's background. So when you send a student to the office, don't expect me to do your bidding. I'll use my expertise and what I know about the community and what I know about the kid to make a determination. Now, I'll always tell you what I did. But don't send a kid to the office and expect me to do what you want me to do. And then if I don't do what you want me to do, you say there's no administration backup. I would never send a kid back to the classroom the same day or the same hour on a secondary, middle, or high school. The teacher needs a respite. I understand that. But please... Do not think that if the administrator doesn't do what you want the youngster to do, that there is no action by the administrator. It's again, it's a mindset of you want to do everything you possibly can do. So, of course, you would never do things, I hope, like sending a kid to the office because he didn't come to class with a pencil.